couple days of storm potential to talk about. This is for tonight. While conditional, we do still have that marginal, that one out of five risk to see those storms become strong to severe. Main threats, hail, damaging winds, and heavy rain. Because we have not seen a lot of rain, as that comes down and it gets heavy, we could see flooding happen, especially heading into Sunday night. And we have that same one out of five with hail damaging winds, heavy downpours, and the tornado threat is low, but it is not zero. So it's something we're going to want to keep our eye on for your Sunday. How much rain are we expecting, though? Anywhere from a half an inch to an inch to possibly over an inch, all dependent on where we see those heavier pockets set up. So don't get tied down to one number, but just know any rain is good rain with a drought monitor that colorful. But for tonight, 68 degrees. We're going to keep some clouds, about a 30% chance to see those storms late tonight, mainly early tomorrow morning. 71 for a high, 80% chance of rain and storms for tomorrow with those temperatures falling through the afternoon. 69 overnight, a mild night with 20% chance to see that rain storm activity. 82 for a high tomorrow, a little bit warmer until that cold front gets to you a little bit later. But here is a look at your extended forecast overall temperature wise. Going to see those get a little bit cooler heading into Sunday and Monday, even for your Tuesday, staying in the lower 70s and then by Wednesday back up to about average and then we are right back up into the 90s by the later half of the week. So I guess if you like the cooler temperatures, enjoy them while you have them. <laughs> oh, I sure don't like that. You don't like the cooler temperatures? No, oh, I'm, I'm like loving it, guys. I'm really, cool. really looking forward to those rain chances. Though. Why? Because we need rain, Miriam. Oh my God, Kaylee. Come on. All right. <laughs>